horse, first of all, walk. And as my horse is walking, I want you to watch his feet. And the football is very, very important that you understand that they both canter and low mean a slow, collected gallop. So the other two gates of the horse, first of all, walk. And as my horse is walking, I want you to watch his feet. And the football is very, very important that you understand the pattern of footballs in each gate, how the horse uses his body and moves his body. But the walk is a four-beat lateral gait. And four-beat means that all four feet hit the ground and it changes the shape of his body for that lead. And uh, you'll get to where you can feel that. Okay. So, well, that was a little bit about footballs of the canter and leads. One, one thing that's really important for you to understand is that there is both a hind lead and a front lead. And uh, by the way, how many of you have been watching the uh, versatile horse not to look down? And in fact, what you'll be able to, if, when you get good at feeling leads, you'll actually be able to feel which lead your horse is going to take right before he takes it because right before he starts the canter is when he changes. the bus pulling back with that inside rein, so bring it back down to the trot. So we, we, we're lucky you, uh, we started out with the lead your horse doesn't want to take. So I'm going to start No. Alright, alright ladies, you go ahead and walk for me. So exhale, very nice, sit back, and then reverse directions. And we're going to canter on the left lead now. And remember earlier today in my groundwork presentation, I was talking about transitions. And the fact that uh, it's, a, it's a classical saying, and it says all of training occurs in transitions. And so it is not enough to just canter around this arena. That's not where the training occur is occurring. The training is occurring in the transitions.